Hi, CodeMonkey here. The following is a quick preview of one of the free courses I have on WilliamClarkson.net. It is a clone of Don't Touch the Spikes. So let's get started. Code Monkey, get up, get coffee. Code Monkey, go to job. Now, in the lesson resources, you'll find a bird PNG, a spike PNG, and a bird JSON file that will help set up the animations. Copy those files and put them in the assets images folder. Now let's go back to scene load and right down here at the bottom we'll load the bird. And when we're using an animation with JSON, instead of saying this load image, we say this load atlas. And we still need to give it a key, so we'll give that a key of bird. And then we need the path to the image, which is assets images bird png and then a path to the json file assets images bird json and then over in scene main this place image and the key being bird and we'll place it right in the middle of the screen which is position 60 And let's give it a scale of 0.15. So that would be 15% of the width of the game. Great. Next, let's add some animation to the bird. Now, for this next part, I'm going to be relying a little bit on my animation snippets on phasergames.com. I will paste the code, though, on the lesson page, so you'll probably see it right below this video. If you look at the JSON file that we are loading, you can see the file names are frame-1png, frame-2png, and so on until number 8. And to make an animation, I'm going to use this create an animation snippet. Place it right after where we make the bird. It takes a key, something to identify the animation by, and we'll call that fly. It takes the frames such as bird frame one, bird frame two, a frame rate on how fast it should go and how many times it should repeat. And negative one means repeat forever. But to generate these frames, because we've got the JSON set up with frame five, frame six and such, we can use this handy little snippet here. I'll just put it on a variable to show you what it generates. Let frames equals this and nims, which is part of the scene, generate frame names, the key being bird, and starting at zero. Actually, it starts at one. So we'll start it at one. And it does end at eight. And there is no zero padding on here. Zero padding is if you have an image file that is like 001 PNG, then you would need to have a padding of two on that. And the prefix would be frame dash. And the suffix is PNG. Let me comment that out for a moment, and I'm just going to log out the frame so you can see what it generates. And there it is, key, bird, frame one, frame two, and such. So the same thing that we had here. We could have just spelled it all out, but this is quicker, especially if you have a lot of frames in there. So we we'll replace frames with the frames variable. Format the code real quick. Take off the console log frames. And when we place the bird, I forgot to put that on a variable. So this bird equals this place image bird. We generate the frames. We create the animation. And then we need to play the animation. This bird play fly. Great, he's flapping. Now let's add some physics to the bird to make him move around and flap. 